What's going on YouTube? That's pretty cool, right? You could just turn off the blades and they just stop immediately. There's not a lot of mowers that can do that. And this is one of them, the new Ryobi Electric Zero Turn Lawn Mower. So today we're gonna test this thing out. We're gonna uh, do a full acre. It's just a little bit under one full acre. We've got some areas with some really high grass. So we're gonna give this thing a rugged test. And uh, let me tell you this lawn, it's uh, very uneven, uh, mostly due to myself. Uh, not leveling the ground out right when I had some heavy equipment in here, but that's okay because we're going to put this thing through the ringer today and you're going to see exactly how it performs and we're going to keep doing these tests uh, repeatedly, uh, 30 days, 60 days, 6 months. You're going to see how this thing performs and you're going to see how it holds up, so stay tuned, but let's check out this video. Hey. No. Didn't even start up yet. So my dog uh, obviously recognizes this is a lawnmower. So in that sense, this is a complete fail. But um, if you look here, we're starting off at 100%. Uh, we're gonna get going on the slow speed uh, selector button just to get around the house and the sidewall along the pool. Don't wanna scratch anything up. Um, so, you know, just going at the slow pace here because on the high speed, it is very touchy, very easy to run into something and you will damage something for sure. So here's where the grass is like super thick. Um, it gets almost 12 inches tall in some areas. Uh, it's all bahia grass and it does quite well when you're going at this low speed. Um, you know, it does mow very well. Um, when you go to the higher speed, obviously it doesn't do as well and we'll see some of that in a minute. Um, so trying to be very careful here not to destroy my pool drain um, One day I probably will get it, but not today. So uh, we're doing good so far and you can see it's a little bit Difficult for me to keep this thing straight, you know, I'm getting used to it, but it is very touchy I mean just the slightest little movement and it's going to the left or the right so um, I had a few people ask me about how loud is this uh, lawnmower um, so I have a little app on my phone um, and I tested it out and it was telling me it was 91 decibels uh, on an iPhone when you're sitting on it. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what it told me. And um, about 20 or 30 feet away, you're about 86 decibels. So here we are. We're going to give it some uh, gas here and do a fast running. This is not a all. I think I was going all out right here and it did pretty well. Um, however, I'm going to do it again right now, and then you can see it just, there you go, it just bogs down. Uh, I think the lawnmower has some type of safety, though, that, like, shuts down the fan, um, the blades when you're uh, going fast like that over some tall grass, so that's pretty cool. Um, so now we're just going to go at a normal speed. About that speed is good for really high grass, but uh, it did really well right here. I was surprised. I mean, you know, even a big commercial lawnmower would bog down um, in this grass, you know, if you were going full blast. So, um, you know, for a residential mower, it, it's uh, it's performing um, and it does uh, well on the turns. Um, you know, it, it uh, got right around this tree and uh, the tree kind of got me back here. But so going through this area, you can see that the uh, Lawnmower is kind of uh, jumping around. This is a real um, uneven part of the yard, and then over in the back it gets really crazy. But um, here we are, just gonna put on the uh, the mulching attachment. Um, it's just shooting grass everywhere. It was going into the pool, uh, you know, when the grass is this tall, it just it's total mess. So I'm gonna put this on and see how it does with this attachment on. And uh, with the attachment on, I really didn't see much of a difference um, in the cutting ability. I mean, it was doing really well. Um, and now we've got to try to get around uh, this bamboo that I'm trying to grow. I would be so upset if I ran over, and I'm losing traction here because I ran over a dog turd, you can tell. But um, it's uh, it's you know doing really well here. Um, try I could never do this with um, some of my other lawnmowers. Um, you know, maybe they're too big or they just didn't move as uh, well as this so um, this lawnmower is really good for this area
That's the actual lyrics to the song. So yeah, I'm just really getting in here. I mean, I'm really lazy with the weed whacker. I try not to weed whack at all. So um, with this lawnmower, I'm pretty much getting it right now. I mean, it's good enough for me, so. And here we are, we're about a quarter way into it. And we're still at 85%, so we're doing really well. Um, it's doing a, a fast run right here, just going all out. You can see it's really jumping around. But, um, you know, it's uh, for not having any suspension, you know, it, it's doing well, you know, it, it's, um, it's clanking around. So in the back here, I actually did some of this already as a test, um, but I'm just uh, kind of going over it um, real fast. And this is like the more flat section of my yard, so uh, just to see you know how fast it goes on a real flat yard. So you can see that that's what I'm doing here. And then this is uh, this is my hill up front. This is my uh, drain field. I call it Mount Puji. So uh, here we are, we're just um, doing the, uh, this is the most, this is the steepest part right here, going down the backside. I always feel like I'm gonna flip when I'm at a certain angle and I actually measured this right here. Um, it's uh, four inches per foot, which works out to about an 18 degree slope. So, you know, maybe that's not as steep as your yard, but you know, for me, it, it feels a little steep, and um, I think going at a, just the right angle, I probably could flip the mower. So I am very careful just to hit it um, straight on. But you know, it, it uh, did climb very well. Um, I never really had any issues um, going up. Um, I will say, in reverse, I tried to reverse up the hill, and it uh, felt a little weird. It slipped. Um, but you know, I don't typically reverse up the hill I always go straight straight in so not really a big issue there and this right here in this area when I was kind of turning um, on the onto the embankment there then you know kind of going back and forth like that um, you can see the wheels slip and it's real jerky, so if you're going in reverse and you go forward, I mean, it'll burn out. Um, it'll pop a wheelie if you have enough traction. So, um, you know, I think I probably should have had it on a low speed selector. I think I'm still doing it on high speed, but just kind of uh, gently going forward and back. But yeah, this thing has a lot of torque, so uh, you will notice that it, you know, it's, it's gonna jerk around. Um, so in this quarter of my yard, this uh, area was just more of a maintenance mow, and this is typically where I would mow my yard. I usually do it once a week, and this is about as high as it would get in a week. So um, I'm zipping through this, and as you can see, um, doing a maintenance type mow, you can really go at a pretty high speed and, and get it done. So um, you know, I'm really happy with uh, how this thing is working right here, and I know um, I'm going to be more keen to mowing using something like this um, and just being able to get it done quickly. So at the end we had about 65% of battery left and uh, doing about a full acre that's really good that's right on par with what the manufacturer says it can do. So there you have it guys. Um, I'm really impressed with this lawnmower. I think it does a pretty well job. Um, the controls are a little touchy, but it, it does really well. As you can see, it's got two cup holders, not one cup holder. So I've got my two beers here, which indicates that I'm done with my uh, lawn here. And uh, I've been charging my phone. That is awesome. I could charge my phone, mow my lawn. Guys, make sure you have insurance on your phones. So anyway, guys, I give this lawnmower a thumbs up for sure. Um, Right now it's doing very well.
But let's see how it holds up. So stay tuned for more videos and we'll show you how this thing actually performs in the long run. So thanks for watching. If you like any of these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Thank you.